beauties, my name is Eva. For today's video I have crazy idea. I would even say that this is bad idea. Today, again, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodlust palette, but this time I want to use only these shades that, let's say, weren't the best one. I wouldn't call them as the worst ones, because for me, actually there isn't any shade that is totally crap, so let's call them these not 100% excellent. <laughs> By the way, if you're looking for swatches and all this stuff, first impression, makeups, how these shades perform, etc, etc, you can find my free videos with this palette in this corner right here. Just click in this icon, round icon, and you're gonna have all those uh, free videos. Let's le le let's talk first. <laughs> when you have eyeshadow that, for example, doesn't like to be blended, you're placing it in such a place on your eyelid where you don't need to blend it or you just blend it a little, very gently, for example, inner corner or lower eyelid, or you match this eyeshadow with other eyeshadow that is good and it performs well. So today I don't want to use these support shades. I want to use only these shades that, like I said, weren't the best ones. So today I want to use Deviant, because maybe you remembered if you watched my videos that this shade was a little patchy. Scandal Water, patchy on swatch, on eyelid a little bit. So I want to check again. The same thing with Vile Serpent. Sworn Enemy, because it works only with finger and there was a lot of fallout. I want to check this eyeshadow again. Also Bleeding Heart and Executioner. I don't count your majesty because I just need some base shade, so I don't count this shade. The worst scenario is that I'm going to look weird. No, this is fact because so many eyeshadows with different colors on eyelids, that will be for sure weird. <laughs> the worst scenario is that I'm going to swipe this makeup and just end this video, but uh, I will probably try to um, fight and maybe I'll just do cut crease. Who knows? I don't plan to do cut crease. I plan to just, you know, something like smoky, just blending eyeshadows. Anyway, too much talking, too much talking. All right, I'm going to zoom you in. Of course, pillow is base, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's go to this makeup. I'm a little afraid, to be honest, because um, I don't leave any defense line for these eyeshadows. So if they will look bad, I will just not have anything to do with it. Let's start this slaughter. I'm taking shade Your Majesty. Like I said, I don't count this shade. This is only for setting my underbrow area. This shade is absolutely amazing and of course it's gorgeous pale shade for some pale person like me. Let's start this festival with Vile Serpent in my outer corner. This will be violent. Outer corner is the worst place to put patchy eyeshadows, so I hope that Wild Serpent will pass this test. But of course, as always, we shall see. And of course, first I'm tapping this shade and then with tapping I'm starting to spreading. Well, it is a little bit patchy, but not tragedy. Probably I'm just complaining because I can. So far, not bad. Okay, let's try to blend it. Very gently. It disappearing a little, but it's actually not that bad. It's not perfect shade, but it's okay. Now I'm taking shade Scandal Water. And 
I will place it here and more in my inner corner here and I'm still only adding, white tapping, I'm not blending, not yet. Although I have very evil idea, <laughs> so actually I will not blend this shade, I will only place it. First I will add a little bit of this teal shade here to blend this area a little bit better and actually it doesn't look bad, it looks nice. And now my very, um, very bad idea, very evil idea, which is I'm taking shade Deviant and with this shade I will blend Scandal Water. <laughs> I can feel this pain. Oh, I can be surprised, I'm not saying that I will not be. This shade is so light, like almost white with a little violet tones. Did you just work? Motherfucker! I was trying to give you some love, to place you in my inner part of my eyelids, to tap you, to blend you gently. And you f***ing piece of shit just like to be blended like in barbarian way. No offense if you blend this way. And suddenly patchy shades aren't patchy anymore. This video will be fail, not because it's fail, but because I thought it will be fail. Fail! <laughs> it looks good actually! How? So, in that video, my inner parts of my eyelids were actually dry or just this shade is... <sighs> I don't want to comment this. Such a barbarian eyeshadow. Who would fat that? How could you? Or how could you? I hope that no one is offended by... that I said this is barbarian uh, way to blend. Actually... <laughs> I also use this barbarian way. This is actually unfair. I really thought this will be crap. Or at least a little fail. Yeah, it is fail. Fail, because I thought it will be fail. Okay, let's go, sworn enemy. I'm not stupid. I'm using my finger. And just as I thought, with finger, not problem at all, not even fallout. Okay, I will go back to Wild Serpent to blend with this, with this, let's call it old greenish gold. Why this makeup looks good? Why? Like I am happy and I am not happy. I cannot believe it. You're supposed to look bad. Let's move on. Bleeding heart and my inner corner lower eyelid. Still amazing shade, but this time I'm more careful. I don't want any red fallout. And the last shade is Executioner, but I'm going to use it as black, just black. So I don't need any glitter and actually when you tap this brush this glitter will fall out from your brush and actually it's alright for me because this is pigmented black. I have only a little fallout from this um, gold, I suppose. A little from white serpent and that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From Brain Freeze palette I'm taking shade Cold Shoulder as my inner corner highlight. I really thought this makeup won't be nice and actually it's very nice, very quick, very easy. Surprise, surprise! 
plain frizz palette and shade <laughs> it's called this one this is what I used in my inner corner I just wonder if this is the right time to say that this palette hasn't any bad eyeshadows I am happy and not happy in the same time I really expected some tea <laughs> although it's nice because this means that some of these shades just need a little bit different treatment little bit really not like super crazy and they work perfectly but I guess for my really really final thoughts you're gonna have to wait I have some idea how to do this video with my, my final final thoughts but I want to use this palette a little bit longer and a little bit more because to be honest I haven't used it yet uh, like privately I only use it here on YouTube with you this is too cold I will add some beige just beige highlighter it's also cool toned but it's not a blue I hope it will look a little better not as much blue I think I handle it although there is now a lot of highlighter but never too much of highlighter and now what lipstick to this kind of makeup it's here is going on almost everything hmm. I'll take something neutral one of my favorite lipstick matches to almost everything truly unexpected ending I expected that I'm going to whine you know I like whining like almost every woman plus I have whining in my jeans like I said I have idea for video with my final thoughts this will be video after I will play with this palette a little bit more so I will have solid opinion about these eyeshadows but for now this is very unexpected very unexpected because this one deviant shade patchy but when you blend it just like almost everyone blending eyeshadow so not with tapping but with actually scratching moves it works scandal water gorgeous shade as I said in this video when I used it of course it's a little bit patchy but you can build it up so you can um, correct its mistakes so even if there is any hole you can just cover it here it blended gorgeously have no idea why I don't know in maths minus plus minus equal plus but patchy plus patchy equal not patchy wow you see maths in real life wild serpent great in outer corner not patchy not any I don't know holes uh, uneven no everything is fine so three patchy shades on swatches great shades on eyelids Mwah. next one sworn enemy like I said in my first video with finger no fallout bleeding heart and executioner these two are super extremely pigmented and today I already know about it so I just don't took so much on brush and no I didn't have any red fallout and I didn't have any black fallout so yeah mm -hmm. unexpected ending now let me see my calendar next video will be on Wednesday and next one on Sunday and then will be Science Patrick's Day so I thought that next video and video after this video will be two makeups for this occasion uh, one will be uh, more 
you know, classic one. This will be cut crease actually, and second one will be more artistic one. I think this is good idea to just do makeups for Saint Patrick's Day before Saint Patrick's Day, right? Okay. So uh, you know what's going to be next. So I see you on Wednesday, and as always, I love you very, very much, and I see you soon. Bye.